This is a quick video that shows how to create a Blackboard content item. So first thing, to create an item in Blackboard, you have to be in a course in which you are an instructor. You can tell you're an instructor in a class if you see the instructor control panel down here beneath your course buttons, lower left, and then upper right if you have this edit mode toggle switch. If edit mode is off, you will see what students see. In order to make changes to your course, you need to turn edit mode on. So edit mode is on, and you're in a content area. So I'm in this area, Blackboard Basics. Uh, you might have content areas in your course, like course materials, assignments, things like that. So with edit mode on, in a content area, you will see this sub-menu, Build Content. And the ones that we use most, again, are items, eCart resources, web links, which are hyperlinks, URLs to websites, folders to organize things, or a blank page. So I'm going to demo creating an item. You give the item a name. You can give it a description. And notice you have the same text editor you have everywhere else in Blackboard. So you could use this button to insert images. You could use this button, which is currently grayed out, to insert hyperlinks. A whole bunch of things you could do in the description bar. I've got a different video that shows you how to use the text editor. So scrolling down a little bit more, after the description, you would add some attachments. So to add attachments to an item, you just browse to wherever they're stored. So I'm looking at my desktop, so I've got a copy of the FCPS instructional framework. I'll attach that. And I also will attach, so that graphic is a file. Okay, so those are file attachments. Any attachments made to an item after I've posted will be scanned by Blackboard Ally, and Ally will make alternate versions of these available to students. Scrolling down a little bit further, I've got some options. Permit users to view the content, yes or no. So if I want them to see it right now, I leave it as yes. If for some reason I want to create it now, put it in my course, but hide it from students until I'm ready for them to see it, I could say no, and then later come back and edit things, and then turn it manually, turn it on by changing it to yes. I could also automatically select a date and time I want it to appear or disappear. So if I want to post it now on April 3rd, but I want it to appear on Monday, April 6th at 7 a.m., I could set that date and time, leave that checked, and then I would click, click Submit. It would be posted my, to my course, hidden until Monday at 7 a.m., and then it would appear and be available to students. Likewise, I could post something now and make it disappear at a future date or time. I'll do neither of those. I'll go ahead and click Submit. It's processing. And then the very bottom of this folder I'm in is that new item with my attachments. And there it is. If I wanted to change it later or delete it, notice with Edit Mode on, next to the item name, I've got this little chevron, this down arrow, which brings up a menu, which I could delete it. I could edit it, which opens up where I just was, the editor window, so change the name, change the description, remove or change the files attached, change the options. That little menu also gives me the options to copy it to another course area or move it to another course area. And so if I wanted to copy it to another, uh, move it to another course area, I would select, this is the course I'm in, and I would just browse and move it to another folder. If I wanted to move it to a different class, I could change it to a different class. So the copy to a different course, move to a different course, you change the, the Blackboard course you want to move it to, this brings up the folders in that destination class, and you just select the folder you wanted to move it to, and then submit cancel instead. 
So that's a little quick video about creating a item in Blackboard.